hello guys and welcome back so now we can perform parkour on different types of obstacles okay but when we are on top of some obstacle as you can see for example this one and try to move down as you can see our player just walks off this obstacle okay we don't want that we want some falling effect as well just like in assassin creed when we when the player is on top of the buildings or some high place the player falls from that position and in here the player can perform parkour as well so we will be adding that to our game as well so before doing anything we need to first detect the ledges of these obstacles for example if the player walks off to this area okay then we want to tell the player that you are on the ledge okay and when we know that then the player will be able to perform the falling down parkour so first of all let's detect the ledges for that open up your environment checker script and let's create a header at the top and right here we will say check ledges or you can type detect ledges as well and right here we will create a serialized field it will be of type float and let's name this as ledge ray length by default this will be equals to 11 then create another serialized field this will be also a float type and ledge ray height threshold and this will be equals to 0 0.76 right here after this check obstacle method we will create now another one and we will name this as check ledge and in here we will pass a vector 3 by the name of movement direction as a parameter and then in here we will say that if that movement direction is equals to vector 3 dot 0 it means that if the player is not moving or not doing anything then we will simply say return false then down below let's create a float by the name of ledge origin offset this will be equals to 0 0.5 then create a variable by the name of ledge origin and this will be equals to the player position so we will say transform dot position plus the movement direction and we will multiply that by the ledge origin offset so we will say ledge origin offset make sure to add a semicolon right here then after this let's create a ray cast for checking the ledges of the obstacle so for that we will say a physics dot ray cast then first of all we will call the ledge origin then we will give the direction to this ray cast so its direction will be vector 3 dot down then we want to store the information about the ledge height so we will say out ray cast hit let's name this as hit and then at the end it will be needing the length okay that how many length this ray cast will have so as you can see we have the ledge ray length so we will pass that right here then after this we will pass the obstacle layer so make sure that you add obstacle layer at the end as well because as you know that we will be only performing parkour on the obstacles so whenever the player is on the obstacle 
then we will be performing the jumping down parkour okay so now our ray is created inside this if condition now we want to get the height of the ledge okay so for that we will create a float by the name of height or ledge height this will be equals to transform dot position dot y minus hit okay this hit okay which is this ray cast so hit dot point dot y then we will say that if the ledge height is greater than the threshold of the ledge ray then we will return true it means that yes the player is on the ledge and if the player is not on the ledge we will return false outside this if condition so now what this method will do this will simply check for ledges now on our player script we will first check that if the player is on the ground okay and by that I mean on the obstacle then we want to check for ledges in that direction in which the player is moving so for example if the player is on top of this box or on that table then if the player is moving on top of that box or table then in that forward direction we want to check for ledges so now first of all we need a reference to our environment checker script so right here after this main camera controller reference we will say public environment checker and let's name this as environment checker as well then right here when the player is on the surface we want to check for ledges right here so if I show you the environment checker as you can see this check ledge needs a vector 3 okay and as you can and you, you can see right here the vector 3 is a movement direction so we will pass movement direction from this player script to this check ledge method okay so after this falling speed we will say environment checker dot check ledge and in here we will pass the movement direction of the player and as you know that we have created a vector 3 by the name of move dir and then write down below the movement direction is equals to this move dir okay and if you saw the previous videos the reason we did that is because we can't access this movement direction outside of this player movement so that's why we equal it to this move dir so now instead of the movement direction we will just simply type move dir so now this will basically check that if the player is on top of any obstacle then this will simply check for ledges okay if the player is on the ledge or not right here after this on surface now let's create a public bool by the name of player on ledge and we will say get set the reason I created this property player on ledge is because we want to check that if the player is on the ledge or not so we will say if this player on ledge is equals to this okay then we will say that if yes if the player is on the ledge then in the console we will print a message by the name of player on ledge and if we get back to the environment checker now right here when we check for the ledge okay right here as you can see we created a raycast so we also want to see this raycast when we play the game so we will say debug dot log 
let's parse the origin so we will say ledge origin then we will say vector 3 dot down and multiply that by the ledge ray length and you can color this as well so I will color this blue and since we are drawing array so instead of the log we will say dot draw ray so now if we save the game and get back to unity then click on the player and you can notice now in the environment checker we have these two variables the first one is the ledge ray length and the next one is the threshold and also now we need to attach this environment checker script right here in the player script now if we play the game and let's try to perform a parkour and right here in the console okay if we try to move towards the ledge as you can see it is not checking for ledges and we also don't have that gizmos okay so the reason behind this is if you check the move direction as you can see the move direction is zero even though the player is moving around in the environment and as I told you in the previous video by using the movement direction of the player if the player is moving in the forward direction then in that direction we will check for ledges so as you know that the movement direction is returning zero in the XYZ so that's why it is not checking for ledges okay so if we get back right here to the player script as you can see we are passing the move dir to the check ledge method so if we double click on it and scroll down below right here as you can see we make the movement direction equals to this move dir the move dir is on the right side so whatever that is stored inside this move dir will be assigned to this movement direction and as you can see this move dir is just a simple vector 3 ok and as you know a vector 3 by default is 0 in the xyz coordinates so in order to fix this we need to move this move dir from the right side to the left and the movement direction from the left to right so now whatever is inside this movement direction will be stored inside this move dir vector 3 okay and also on the environment checker right here add plus vector 3 dot up and that will be it okay so now let's just click on the player and play the game now if we try to move you will notice the blue gizmos right there and also the move dir vector 3 is now updating as the player moves okay as you can see the x and c coordinate is updating so now if we try to jump on this box okay and let me show you the console as well now if we move further to the edge of this box as you can see now it shows player on ledge okay so it means now that the player is detecting ledges as you can see so now in the next video we will add a animation for jumping down these obstacles